Hello Libra and welcome to June 2018 love reading. If you'd like a personal reading, you can reach me at the links uh, listed below this video. Please remember to check your moon and rising as this reading isn't going to resonate with all of you. So what I'm getting here is there has been a lot of friction going on. And so the month of June kind of comes in a little tough with, for some of you. I feel like some of you are involved with someone uh, who's, uh, hasn't been the best in regards to being honest. They're kind of sneaky. Uh, if you haven't found that out, you may find that out in June. I do feel like you need a lot of willpower here, a lot of willpower to be able to move beyond this person. Cause I just feel like you get sucked in. Um, and uh, with the Nine of Pentacles, at least we know that the energy is going to change throughout the month of June, okay? Where good energy comes in and things look a lot better, okay? I do feel like some of you are involved with someone who really needs to heal. And some of it might even pertain to you where healing needs to happen. Perhaps someone's waiting for you or you're waiting for someone to move beyond some of this pain that they've been experiencing uh, so that you can join them uh, in divine timing. So what I'm looking at, what you need to work on here is the procrastination, the hopes and desires that someone's going to change when you have no power to change them. Okay, here we've got the three of wands. You, you're right there. You're right there where, where you know what you have to do to make everything okay and then with the sun next to it i mean happiness you're working on 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 not just being happy but you want to balance in your family life you want to balance in your love life and you can achieve it the sun is there okay you can achieve it now for some of you too i'm getting like there's some issues with uh having children or fertility um and I'm feeling like there's kind of some hoops that you need to go through and you'll be able to achieve it. It's probably put a lot of pressure on your relationship. And so your relationship might not exactly feel the best. And there's a fear about losing it because you've been having difficulty uh, um, having children. I'm also feeling like some of you might actually be involved with someone who already has children, but I feel like maybe the children have had a hard time accepting you because you're replacing uh, their parent uh, who is now missing uh, or disconnected out of their life uh, like it used to be when the family was together. So I'm just, I'm getting that information in. I'm also feeling like someone, someone here has got some really serious codependent issues here. And they're not being very honest. I see them sneaking around your home uh, or sneaking around somebody else's home, could even be a parent's home, uh, to where they're taking things. They're taking things out of the house. Uh, I feel like they're reselling it to um, uh, supply their habit. Uh, perhaps they're even taking the stuff that's in your home. So you wanna be really careful with that. Some of you who are experiencing that right now, I suggest you child-proof your home, you know, lock up those pills um, or just, um, you know, y you've got to do something to protect this person. And, um, okay, so moving into the right side here, your transformation. Uh, definitely getting the message from Spirit with the Nine of Swords that uh, the pain in the past, maybe all the way up until doing this reading in June, has been there. And you pretty much have had your limits. You can't take it anymore. So the transformation is to, uh, like the Wheel of Fortune, wheel yourself out of the situation so that you can, once again, uh, feel free. Because I just feel like you, some of you are just kind of swarmed with and this could even have something to do with work but i just feel like you're swarmed with uh maybe um debts you know debts in the relationship whether you caused them or another person caused them or it's just the way life has been going and so you've needed the credit cards etc 
but I do feel like the Wheel of Fortune is letting you know that there are ways that you can just spin the wheel and, and, and get out of the situation right now that is just bringing you down. But you're going to have to work at it, okay? And I feel like some of it has to do with finances. So you're definitely going to have to either go to work or, you know, figure out a way where you can get the income flowing in again because it is affecting uh, not just your relationship but also the relationship with self. You know, losing confidence. Now, some of you, I feel like you just, you're in this. No matter what the game is, you are in it because you are waiting uh, or they're waiting for you, whoever's looking in on this um, video. And they want to really repair everything here they want to heal okay they love you very much um and uh, uh i do feel like at least uh, you or your significant other feels like this you would benefit from the healing okay i also feel <coughs> that someone has uh some animosity uh, towards their parents or siblings okay uh, the love is still there but there just seems to be a lot of blame a lot of anger a lot of frustration okay I feel like some of you might be looking for perfection because you are the scale Libra so you want to balance but there is no perfect there is no perfection okay um, and living your life being uh, perfect or imperfect uh, is not uh, bringing you in uh, that sense of love and security that you were hoping for so my suggestion is just be who you are and just you know heal the past heal the pain that you might be feeling today while you're listening to this reading okay and look to the wheel of fortune to help spin spin you out of this situation so you can feel um you know where you really want to be where which i feel is the sun okay just feel like you, you know you this this is your ultimate place you want to be and you can get there you can definitely get there so when i look to here at the five of wands i mean this this card here is like hey we're going to war or maybe you've already gone to war so we've got a tug of war going on there's the rope i'm pulling you're pulling no i'm right no you're wrong no you're wrong i'm right so you know of course that's going to keep going until finally you know we call the truce but I do feel like there has been quite a bit of anxiety, quite a bit of anger uh, with someone, again, with the Seven of Swords, because I feel like some of you Libras feel like, hey, you know what? I have been used. I feel abused. I feel, you know, manipulated. I feel someone's betrayed me. I feel uh, dishonesty. And then, of course, not all of you Libras are going to be feeling this, okay? But it's there. It's on the table. So some of you are and so the reading spirit wants to direct it towards you who are feeling this here's the strength card this you know some of you could be going around with the leo on this um there is you have to let go of the judgment you have to let go of i mean it's okay it's okay to a point so that you can see the picture clearly but i always feel that we get more answers when we're observers than we are if we call people out all the time Okay, because in this judgment card, you know, it's like, hey, can you get your karma back already? I can't wait. I can't wait to see this. But I don't feel like it's doing you any justice. Okay, injustice, so key word, justice. What is justice? Libra. Justice is not on my table, but it came out in my words. Okay, so um, continuing to look at the cards, I do feel that you will overcome uh you know this energy of just feeling left out abandoned betrayed uh lied to maybe even cheated on you know stealing from me uh to something the nine of pentacles this is really beautiful and i think that this will help you eventually move past uh this uh tension this um viewpoint and uh you know i feel like uh, there's light at the end of the tunnel, you know, whether you're with your significant other or you're not or you're in a position where you want to move on and meet someone else, but you're just stuck. Okay, great.
And what other messages here, Spirit, do I want to talk about in these cards? Now, I do feel like, Libra, you've got this natural beauty about yourself. You know, that's what Libra is anyways, the natural beauty. So I do feel like you are in the month of June. And I'm feeling like as you move through June, going closer to the mid to end of June, there's this amazing energy about you, okay? You've, you've really transformed beautifully. And so people find you attractive. And in a way, that's what you want, although I see you kind of shying away from that because you're feeling still slightly vulnerable in regards to pulling in a mate, uh, even even for some of you who already know your significant other, you know, there's still some scratches that, you know, the scabs haven't fall, fallen off yet so that there's complete healing. And it's going to take some time, but you're going to be able to do it. All right. Okay, Libra, thanks for being here. I wish you a great June. Much love and blessings.